Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. The show is my name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our beloved uh, No Shot campaign. Well, we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with not a single shot fired. That includes, of course, no explosives as well. And speaking about explosives, today we, uh, today we have Operation Cryptic Knife. We're fighting against the Lost again, and that is not a task to be taken lightly, as you know by now, um, by seeing the campaign. We have had our struggle with the Lost, specifically for not having a Bladestorm available. Now, whilst I am equipping the team, feel free to uh, drop a comment or a like down below. I say that now at the beginning of uh, the video in anticipation and hopes uh, that it will motivate a few more people to actually comment. Wonderful. In terms of uh, the team, we got a Templar, we got two specialists, Sane and Sonar, make a fantastic team here. Divert um, as a Ranger as well as Roby certainly make good Rangers as well. Well, Roby is on uh, uh, negative trait uh, recovery, so we're taking Quick Feet instead with us. And Halo might be good as well. Who else would we have? Zukuger, who is bonded with Halo. Yeah. Uh, with quick feet, sorry. Yeah, we're still going to take uh, Halo instead of a third um, specialist. So let's take a look. We got a mind shield here. We got no mind shield for him. Yeah, we got three mind shields, two mimic beacons, and we should be okay. Let's just double check. We were saving supplies, if I recall correctly. So we're not going to go in for any further upgrades. Although the Mimic Beacon, I must admit, is quite tempting to, to buy that one. Third Mimic Beacon. Ah, you know what? You can never have enough Mimic Beacons. Gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. Three Mimic Beacons, it is. Very good. Good, we got two times a Skulljack as well, which potentially could give us the coordinates of uh, um, one of uh, the factories, and that would help us with controlling the overall Doom Timer. So there's a little side objective that we might want to try to get. Good, we just landed. Troop transport is nearby. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Ooh, look at that. We do not get the smash and grab, so this is a straight up killing mission. Even Both better. Not 100 percent sure what the loss have to do without uh, with it, but sometimes the side trap can happen. And that just means we gotta be careful with the explosives. Time to mine up. Because that can trigger additional swarms of loss. This is a pretty large map, I might add. Yeah. And Hogbite a good is going to take the point position. Stepping off. Moving to position. And where else can we park someone? See, that's the problem Double with not having enough cover available from time to time. Codex plus Double Viper, that's a very interesting combination. We play our cards right, we can even kill the Codex right away. Pack of three is theoretically ready to be engaged. Beat, beat. Moving our team to the right position. Gotta be a bit careful. 
There could be a chance of a second pack over here. Confirmed. And theoretically, there could also be the chance that the Viper King is again in this mission. If that would be the case, we of course would need to be extra careful. Good. These guys are literally right, right behind the car. Confirmed. Good. So if we would, if we were to start this, it'll trigger three hits, plus the one at the beginning. It's probably not going to kill anyone, but it would deal a substantial amount of damage for all of them. No more hiding out. All right, let's hit this guy very well. Unfortunately, not down to one HP. Which means we're going to see some cloning here. And we're seeing some lost. Fantastic. Love it. Okay, very well. Moving up and moving up. Good, so we could kill that one and the other Comet Protocol allows us to kill the other Codex. Okay, good. So the Codexes would be taken care of. Uh, we're not going to reach the Viper completely. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. We want to waste one of our Mimic Beacons. Probably not, to be honest. I mean, it's just one Viper. It will most likely tongue grab, and that can be blocked. Plus, there is um, Blade Storm that is going to come in before it actually can hit us. So moving up without being seen. And let's choose Diva tier as a scout for now. I enjoy the idea of being concealed. Viper begins to run to the next pack, which is probably back there. Losses are going to come up. And losses are going to be a relatively safe option for us, unless they are running directly into us, to provide us with focus. And that's the only thing that did not really work out so well for Hawkeye, right? Moving. 
Yeah, he's too far away. That is unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. That guy, however, is right up our alley. So that would not be a kill yet. Let's prime him. We want to give Hawkbite a few more focus because uh, that will increase his melee damage, his movement rate, his dodge, basically everything. It's pretty important to fill that up. And that's two focus. Very well. Also parrying. Copy that. Moving the back line forward. I'm all over it. And we're very carefully just moving over here. I'd be curious to see if the remaining lost will actually start chasing or moving into into advent. Yeah, it's just turning around apparently. Well, thank you. So we're not in a timed mission, might as well use that in order to get focus completely up. I don't want to go straight up the hill because that could mean that I'm going to spot out a target right away and lose concealment. So the idea is really to scout slowly ahead. These guys should trigger one another. And that's not the worst thing that could happen to us, because now they can just fight with one another. But apparently they are just moving into our direction. Lance has got a lance. Even if it is suboptimal sub decision. These guys are pretty strong. A lot of like six, seven, eight hit point type of losses here. And they are also hitting for a bunch in melee. Well, maybe I overestimated it. Desher sure is going down. Another Desher is going down. I wish we could hit that sweet, sweet mech over there. 
Very nice. Let's soften it up. By passing that three point, uh, these uh, three points of armor. Yeah, this would be too close. The mech could theoretically use its rockets, and I don't want that to happen. work out but we can position ourselves over here and next turn we can do something for now we're not being spotted out and I would like to keep it that way hunkering down I think that that is exactly what we want to do now. Can always use a mimic beacon if need uh, be. a lot of damage oh, <sighs> it was still using its rockets I was hoping that it would not but my bad, I should have guessed that. <laughs> well, that's that's what you get. Okay. Well, we got to move over here. Unfortunately, we're going to uh, need to rest with both of our specialists afterwards. That's really unfortunate. And unnecessary as well. I could have played that much safer. Had a bunch of Mimic Beacons. Yeah, we got to be careful here. Running. For the I want to lose the concealment on our scout. Double time. So yeah, we're all moving with the side here. And even more losses are coming. Well, good job. Explosions really will draw them closer. I'm a bit miffed about the fact that I 
uh, had both of the specialists cluster up, despite me even saying that I shouldn't do it. Alright, so much for staying in the shadows. That really did not work out well. One down, two down. Three down. Enemy eliminated. This world is ours. And four down. Well, we definitely killed a lot of loss. Uh, that is good. Let's top ourselves off. I don't think that we will need all of the other healing, just in case we're taking another shot. Luckily, this time we do have Bladestorm because the action economy would have elsewise been just against us. Even killing four of the losses per round just doesn't make a huge difference. You gotta kill way more than that. Damn it, still so many left over. Problem is, as soon as we're getting up there, things are not going to look great. So let's play this one careful. Might look a bit strange to have our rangers here retreat all the way up because typically i would want to progress and move forward but i want to get rid of that entire swarm first before we're taking the ledge all right here we go hopefully all of them will try to get to hogbite And this again teaches us hope does not get you anywhere. Only two of them effectively ran in our, uh, into our direction. The rest just didn't. Good. Moving over. And next turn we're going to face yet another swarm. I couldn't imagine that the loss were such a tr uh, would cause such trouble for us, but without blade storm, it's just a pain in the rear. They keep coming and coming and coming. Okay, good. So, a little bit of time for us. Copy that. Moving over. Hunkering down. And we're going to go up uh, upstairs here. There's one last pack. 
fortunately we've lost our uh, um, Phantom Ranger. Alright, moving up. Wow, we just triggered everything. We just literally triggered everything. Wonderful. Moving up. Can't haywire protocol, too far away. Hawkeye takes an 8 protocol. Halog moves up here. And how about we're using a mimic beacon? The rest just moves out of line of sight. Hawkeye could kill the Viper. But also could kill everybody with an uh, ionic storm, but I think we're not going to do that. We would also be hit by the Overwatch, so it's not going to work. Let's use a vault and just accept where we are. We're moving down here. Next, uh, next turn, I can move up and hopefully use Haywire Protocol. Lancer Scuttle Lands. And that was a pretty valuable Mimic Beacon, because now it's only the Viper. Few of the loss will charge into Hawkbite, that's okay, but most of them will hopefully hit the enemy. Good, we could school mine. That's a good starting point. Moving over, and let's start getting this guy down. 
We're at maximum focus. Could move up in order to um, to kill it with Blaze Storm. Moving further up, can't hit it with, uh, can't hit the mech uh, with the Haywire Protocol. It's just out of line of sight, very unfortunate. Big deal. Getting rid of some of those str stragglers here. Okay, that's one Mimic Beacon. Let's see. We are so, if we're starting to move in, that could be another Mimic Beacon, I think. We, we should use him as a Mimic Beacon. In terms of killing the rest, can we reach that second codex apparently not Sick. yeah no thank you I want to go in the middle of the Lost. They are doing fantastic, fantastically well with just dealing with all of uh, the Advents. All right, Hogbird will maximize his uh, mm, his blade storm and just to make him a less obvious target we're giving him an eight protocol I'm on the move. Good, the Mimic Beacon is still standing. I like it. That guy is not standing. I still hit, by the way. Yeah, that is suboptimal, the cloning. Well, now we can finally Hayward protocol him. It's a bit late though. There we go, Codex down. Gotcha. And we're slashing through the remaining losses. The 
Love it. Let's shut this guy down. Don't even need to control it. Probably has too much hack defense for now. But yeah, good old shutdown. Could have even controlled it. Fair enough. Let's kill the lost and the mech is going to be next. One down, thousands to go. Holding position. The heavy mechs are actually quite serious business by thinking about it. You will pay the price. Our Protocol deals like 4 to 5 points of damage. They uh, come equipped with 20 ish points, uh, hit points, plus a lot of armor, as you can see. So that is pretty nasty. Let's see if we get a good PCS. It uh, doesn't even show us, but there was loot there. We killed 60. I am still a bit uh, unhappy about my one play with the uh, two specialists taking uh, taking rockets. Yeah, that was suboptimal. We're going to pay with a few um, days in the sick bay for for it. Halloween theme park. Wonderful. So that is not as bad as I thought it might be. Got another conceal ranger here. And we're still waiting for Major to finally get that sweet, sweet Blade Storm. But that is great. 50 Illyrium, 150 supplies, exactly what we were looking for. And um, an Intel research item, a data pad, that is going to help us to expand even further. Wonderful. Pretty good. So... Let's take a quick look. I don't mince words. Yeah, probably one, or two or three days of health scanning would be helpful. We don't need the power too much, and we're also okay. Let's. Um, we're also okay on Intel. Let's. Um, get that tower up and running so that we can increase the income because we're soon going to have the supply drop. These are the methods that are required to fulfill my purpose. And so Long live the resistance. Commander, we need to keep an eye out for the chosen sabotage attempts. We don't have any more. Good, the chosen now forced us to heal longer. Hmm. That's quite a bit longer. It's like eight more days. So yeah, that effectively forces us to now heal. Sector eight, Mexico. We can continue to expand to Eastern Europe very soon. And it's getting better and better, guys. Wonderful. That is fantastic. Good. So now I said we wanted to find her and make short pro uh, process with her. Specialists and let's take a Reaper and Torch can be that extra um, soldier that we need on the mission in order to prevent someone from being captured. That's exactly what we want to do. The 14 days is Understood, Commander. relatively modest um, time. It even means next uh, month we could get uh, to the stronghold. 
if we play our cards right and finally get some Null Lances in the Psionic Training, we might even be able to do it before she shoots us down. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes. Yeah, that was a good month. Like no alien activity, right? And you have outdone yourself. We're still getting one more month. But the training is a problem. She could get another uh, another feed. And that can be could be melee immunity. We hope of course that that's not the case. Barrier here needs to go, definitely. This here is okay, Wild Hunt can, is totally fine. Um, getting everybody immediately at the rank of a sergeant. Do we need that now? Probably we do not need that. So let's get the resistant contact over here. Facility construction speed increases by 25%. I think that that is more valuable for us at the moment, just to build faster. The resistance contact to continue expanding, of course. So that's fine. That's a great one. I mean, it's one of the strongest perks, live, uh, the fire, uh, live fire training, but I'm asking myself, are we going to um, train many, many recruits? <laughs> Unless we're losing an entire squad, it's probably not going to be the case. Not yet. Okay. I'm gonna take charge and get the money because that could give us an upgrade in our armor. And this is where the Archon is located, so we already know Berserker Queen over here, Archon down here. Well, it's fun, isn't it? Good. I should... Oh, we don't have... Huh, we don't have powered armor yet. Saiken, that was a little bit too fast. Good, let's continue the healing and there is another mission. Engineer and a hundred intel is exactly what we want to uh, what we want to do. And a VIP mission is good and you can see just right in time someone recovered from their wounds so the scanning has paid off. Sonar is missing but yeah. Um, Sane is with us, we got Sue Cougar, so we got two specialists uh, that would work for us. We got plenty of rangers, uh, one, two, three, Templar, we're going to take Hogbite with us, it's not even going to be a question. But yeah, the promotion here is slower than expected. I was hoping that would be a bit faster. What else do we have as Covert Ops mission? Breakthrough research. Um, a lot for assault rifles. N nothing that we would need. Our mission timer is increased by two. Isn't bad for our uh, specific setup because we do not have the fastest team. That here is good as well. That's definitely very good. We're probably going to take that. One scientist isn't bad. Yeah, the extra resistance contact is pretty damn good. And of course, like getting part three of the assassin is good as well. Yep, some pretty nice missions are there. 11 days for powered armor. We're also okay with the supplies. I would leave it just where it is. Two more days until experimental armor is available. And by the way, also here, um, once he stops being tired, 
Might as well remove the negative traits from Cur uh, Colonel Eric Anderson, that is Hawkbite. But we need a stronger remaining team, can't be just him. And for the training center, yeah, we can upgrade his bond, didn't work so far. And that here would be good, but I think we'll, we'll need both of them in the actual fight. Yeah, we're still pretty low on AP in general. Of course, except um, when one of the soldiers has genius level combat intelligence. And Serial is, by the way, fantastic, but still, I wouldn't use it. Okay. We got nothing here. This run, it just isn't fully made to collect AP. Maybe later in the run we can do a couple of covert ops missions to get AP. But for now, really, the majority of uh, our our focus should be on getting our psionic operatives uh, up and running. And, uh, yeah, just holding steady, so to speak. We got this one here very soon, and then we can finish clearing the rest. Uh, in terms of power... Building that extra power coil and migrating it over would definitely make sense. I think we wanted extra uh, contacts here and down here is the shadow chamber. So yeah, the build order makes sense. I'm not sure what we would put here after we remove the... Oh yeah, uh, we wanted a second Psylab. I remember that. So second Psylab it is. Resource wise, we're fine as well. We get a ninth engineer. We put them to work down here. One more scientist is theoretically available with our resistance ring missions. Don't need to do that right away. Uh, we're okay with the research. Don't need to power through the research. Once we have powered armor, pretty much set from what we would want to get. A few minor things, um, probably um, Gremlin Mark III, as well as, of course, the Psi Amplificator Mark III. Those would be important items. Other than that, I think with the um, regular experimental armor, we should be very much okay. Good. And that brings us us to the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and a comment down below, guys. And see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.